Hey Gavax here, so welcome to another episode of News of the Hour, Team of the Week. We're also going to guess the gifts, we're going to go through some airs, some EA mess ups, my opinion on Zero Chill so far, and a lot of things that are going on in the game at the moment, but Team of the Week, Anthony Harris got it, the limited, um, it's generally for the best performing uh, defense of the week, and then the card gets it from there, so free safety, uh, good on your theme team, uh, solid hit power, speed, I do not believe he gets Enforcer with the zoned out archetyped archetype at that uh, level so sad day for him um but you know vikings theme team you're welcome all right now we had server downtime and make rights the make rights ended up being a doubling of the rewards of solo battles and weekend league now it's solid i mean it's fine weekend league's gonna be open it's gonna be doubled so there's gonna be a lot of people playing might get a little easier to get top end rewards to get to those higher milestones with so many people playing the game that might not be a skill to normally play weekend league so in the end, yeah, maybe it'll be easy to get the rewards, but man, I really wish they would have given us something better. Maybe like double our mutt rewards, given us some training, some kindling, some currency, some more packs, that kind of stuff. Instead of saying, instead of making us play for it, just give it away. But you know, I, I guess it's not a bad middle ground. We got mutt rewards today, which were four packs, I believe, for legendary. We could take a look at that quick. We got uh, four zero chill packs for legendary, which I think a lot of people should be at uh, because you can open. If you don't have your mutt rewards, obviously sign up for that. But then you go ahead and open that reroll pack for 100 uh, tr uh, Kindling Quick Sell. And you just keep uh, rerolling that one again and again. And I believe you can get 1,000 like that pretty cheaply. If not, you should have gotten to, like, gotten to it through like uh, silver packs for 500 coins a pop. Because those things basically you can make coins on them going forward. So there it is. Update Madden Rewards for December. A lot of the questions the community have have been answered today. If you didn't know, now you know. So keep going. We'll get to the presents in a little bit. Uh, the receivers for the NFL 100 have been announced. Have been re like they released the, the, the they accidentally leaked this out on their Instagram picture right here because they said these are the finalists, but these are actually the guys who made the team. Now the players that I expect us to get will be Randy Moss, Jerry Rice. Uh, we also have Marvin Harrison. Then we can only get Larry Fitzgerald in game. Uh, but the ones I kind of wanted to see would be kind of cool to get. Uh, I I really wish Elroy Hershier. Known as Crazy Legs. I've been wanting him in the game for a while because I just want to see if if Madden could animate his like weird look up look up a video on YouTube of his weird running style with his legs the way they like flop out differently. So funny. So that'd be kind of neat to see Madden, this guy just kind of like this uh bow legged uh, type of running. But uh, one of the best receivers of all time, as voted on the end all time team, run of one hundred. Otherwise, I think any of these guys would be kind of cool to have in game rather than just same old, same old Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, Marvin Harrison, Larry Fitzgerald. So bring us some more variety, make it nicer for theme teams, and I would be a okay. So there you are, a little leak of NFL 100 wide receivers. He's the guy who made the team. It'll be a little anticlimactic this Friday, but we'll be online Friday night to try and uh, hopefully grab some of them. Moss probably came up to like 99 speed already. Um, they were also they released a little uh, zero chill here. A kind of breakdown of the promo, what's coming up, Mutt Zero Chill on their website. Don't let get left out in the cold. It's time for Zero Chill and Madden NFL 20 uh, through January 3rd. Outlast the winter with loads of new challenges. And they talk about presents that we're going to get uh, before December 25th. Presents contain players from all parts of the Zero Chill program, as well as valuable players from previous programs. So that means we'll probably get uh, some of these presents that will open, maybe Team of the Week. Um, and then uh, maybe some zero chill program players too. So we'll guess those in a second. Like I said, 12 days of Muttmas on December 25th, 2019. Special content drops in zero chill. So Christmas Day, there'll be special content drop. As you know, all the presents are opening. But it looks like there might be more. Maybe we'll get some blitz. 12 days of Muttmas and a special Santa vs. Elves challenge. So 12 days of Muttmas. What do you guys think that will include? Maybe more solos, more presents every day, m more reasons to log in. It looks like there'll be fantasy packs. This is... Part of the puzzle pieces to get your medium gift. I don't know. Uh, hopefully they got something fun up their sleeves. Give us some more. Because like last year, it started off a little slow. And then it really picked up. And a lot of people started liking it as, as it went along as a program. So I'm loving it um, so far. I think it's a good start. Obviously, it's not finished. So there's no reason to judge it as a program yet. Like I'm not going to give it a rating out of 10 based on the first day off the first content. When we know this shit is stacked through the month. Or at least three weeks here. Out of position and Ghosts of Madden are confirmed coming now. Uh, very, very suspected. I did it in my video last night on uh, me guessing with all the things that are missing that we're getting out of position and Ghosts. So these players are overplaying outside their normal positions will receive new player items for these alternate positions. So new player items. So if they have like a power up, like for like, 
I don't know, the, the opposition free safety Megatron probably is not just going to get a wide receiver secondary. He'll probably just get a uh, new player item for his wide receiver if he gets a new wide receiver uh, zero chill card, which is basically confirmed. I mean, he's the, like kind of the cover boy of it. And then Ghost of Madden, which is a community favorite. We freaked out the one year they didn't have it in the game. Featuring past and present fan favorite stars will live on forever through game-changing effects in the NFL as well. Standout rookies are on their way to doing the same. So expect, hopefully, a Kyler card. He just got it updated in Blitz, so maybe he doesn't get a Ghost of Future. But expect your favorite rookies, uh, or maybe not your favorite one, but expect rookies to get upgraded. I'm praying on a, on a bush, of course, because I'm a Steelers homer. And uh, whatever your team, I'm sure you're praying on your rookie to get a new card too. And then kind of go marketing below that. So... There it is, out of position, Ghost of Madden confirmed, along with 12 Days of Muppmas. Pretty fun stuff, hopefully, ahead of us. But uh, moving on, there's the gifts. Uh, before we get to guessing the gifts, I actually want to go through some of the errors that people are getting. Uh, we, I, saw, I actually see this post a lot, like people are putting on the sub. On PS4, you kind of guys are running into a lot of trouble. Use of content created by other players is not allowed for your account due to parental controls. So as more things change, the more they say the same, EA keeps fucking up. I'm sorry, I don't know a way around it. If you know a way around this, if people are running into this, uh, let me know. Let us know in the comments. I'll pin it if you know how to get rid of that. Uh, we went through EA Crelo. Also, I did the kindling coin conversion. I'll put this in the description. Otherwise, you can always find it on my Twitch channel by going there and typing exclamation point uh, training. We have uh, the kindling. How much kindlings for each overall here on the left. Training prices. Um, this is generally going to be kept up to date every day. Um, I, I frequently forget to re-update re the date, but... Uh, then the zero chill prices. Some of this might have fallen since I recorded these hours ago. And then the coins per kindling to see the best value kindling right now. 85, 87s are looking like the best. Otherwise, high end guys are generally pretty good too. Um, and of course, snipes will always get you a little bit better than not. The Bruce Smith said, as you saw in my video this morning, was technically profitable. I don't know if it is anymore. I literally haven't updated this since this morning. Uh, moving on to, yeah, there's also more solo battle issues. People are running the pending games and games not counting. Just more shenanigans of that stuff. You finish the game, then it doesn't count. Very, very disappointing. All right, on to the gifts and predicting there. But I don't know what to tell you, EA being EA. The small gifts, like, I have no clue, right? This is probably just some uh, items in zero chill. Green and red. I, like, I, I don't know. This, this could literally be anything. All we have to go based off of is color for the large gifts too so if these things are shot in the dark at least with a large gift you know maybe we'll guess on the team and stuff that's what we'll kind of do but uh small gift pack uh i don't know some more packs shit i don't know but large gift hopefully these things are the players that we're gonna get out of it so red gift i'm hoping that's maybe like a patriots color julian edelman gilmore those kind of players coming out of that uh that red type of gift we'll go with that the blue gift, this could be a zero chill pack. Because, you know, on the, the Mount Miss, they said, uh, Clegg's many present, when they open, presents will contain players from all parts of the zero chill program as well as valuable players from previous programs. So this might be our zero chill pack. Like a, maybe 92, 94, or I don't know. Maybe if it's an 80, if it's a 78 plus, that's a major loss. Unless, unless it's like 20 of them. Uh, because those things are kind of expensive. Purple, looking like Viking colors right there. Uh, legend, maybe a John Randall, if they're going to go with something that we've had in the game, um, or like a current day player, like a bar Harrison. Oh, I don't know if Harrison Smith already got a card, but I, like Randall bar would be kind of cool to add. Uh, we got him for Halloween last, and I, I believe that was his last card. This one's kind of pinkish. This could be like training. It could be like a, a, a large training thing because that kind of looks like the same color as training on the main menu. So maybe that's the pink one, but, um, your guess there could be anything. It's good as mine. This orange kind of looks like Bears is maybe Broncos. I would hope for something like maybe an out of position William the Fridge Perry. Bring him back. Uh, fullback. That'd be kind of neat here. But, you know, it could be anybody present to pass time to players. Right here, I'm praying this is Steelers. And we get like a Mel Blunt. Uh, a legend. Because, you know, Crayola uh, teased at some of these legend players that were good to get from the store. Are still uh, there. So Mel Blunt. We kind of need. For the green one. Uh, I think this might be like a team of the week card. It feels like. I mean green could be. You know. There's a lot of green teams. And then right here is like a, like a tealish. Or a, a different kind of green. I don't know. Well, what would you guys say this? Like Jags? Dolphins maybe? Because. I don't know. This is also very mysterious. I'm not sure it corresponds to a, a player color. Maybe it is a program color. Uh, what was the green program in the past? But this green. 
Yeah. So, a few different packs of the past, a few different players of the past. That one, any of these could be, would be, I don't know, could we get a mud here? What are the other programs? Superstars? But, uh, yeah, it's sad they didn't provide really good hints this year. There's nothing like on it that says, like, let in the past would say ghosts of future, ghosts of past type of stuff. So, this would be like, the Steelers would be a ghost of past. If you had a, if you had a out of position there, they'd be on that. Uh, last year, we had, like, Iron Men. Uh, we'd have ghosts, maybe, maybe a ghost of future for one of these cards, if it is. It is Patriots, Bears, Vikings, one of them. Could be one of the young guys. We just got like a, what, a Delvin? Uh, not too long ago for Delvin. So I don't know. For the Vikings one, that was up above. So a lot of questions. It's it's too bad because I, I think having the hints on the present rather than just the colors, it was kind of fun doing that. But they're all open on the 25th. So nine days from now. For people that want to be like, hey, what should I do? Get presents or stack kindling? I would definitely be stacking kindling. You can roll your presents at any time up until the 24th. But kindling, like, just having the present means you're keeping the kindling, right? There's no reason to roll for them right now. So if you keep the kindling, there's a potential for them to go up in price with the introduction of new cards. So keep your kindling, keep your value right there. And because if you go in, you'll have to take a loss to get kindling back if you do presents already. Like, I've already done presents myself for content stuff when I open them for stream. But there it is. Um, that's my suggestion. Hold kindling because, you know, we've seen this stuff go up with uh, new offers. And Wednesday, Kralo said he was excited about it. So, we might get some new cards Wednesday that and kindling might go up at that point. Um, house rules was a very big disappointment so far with everybody just running jet sweeps the whole time because that just gives them two points easy. So, it's just, it's just people running jet sweeps for a couple downs, maybe trying to get convert a, a, a first down with a stretch. And then uh, jet sweep, jet sweep, jet, jet sweep again. So... Hate it. They did a really bad job with house rules this week. Um, what else did I write down? DC glitch. I passed along. So some of my streams so they had the, the new DC glitch. So I passed that along. Uh, hopefully EA can take a look at it. I don't. Th it's nothing new. Uh, it's the same DC glitch from every other year's past. So that's sad. And, and it's still working. It kind of sucks. We went through mutt rewards. Uh, we went through presents. And then, oh yeah, EA's air today was two captain tokens. Great job, EA. Uh, you, you, you fucked up again this morning. People that were on the game early, I was one of them, but I don't know why they they patched it, right? They should have just left in people getting two captain tokens the whole day. Why would they patch that out of the game to like just infuriate your audience? So, bad job, EA. You couldn't get through a release without another air. It's so weird, like the bug bugs that they have in this game, and it's just every single time. And it's always something different, too. It's so weird. I guess I guess sometimes they just repeat bugs, but if there's a way to screw up, EA, EA is an innovative screw upper. We'll just we'll give that to them. But that's kind of what I want to go through for zero chill. The NFL 100 wide receivers again um, are right there on Instagram. Randy Moss, I'm guessing, is going to be an absolute beast when he comes out, and uh, hopefully, you know, it'll just be fun to pass again. All right, thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.